thanks for clicking on this video. Thanks for being here. It's Rebecca with Becca's Boutique and Beadworks. And today we are doing a jewelry bag unveiling, a jewelry bag reveal. This is a $39.99 uh, Canadian dollar bag. And I just was anxious to get into another one, even though I still have uh, my first bag to finish cleaning and organizing, but this one was kind of open at the top, so it was saying, open me, open me, play with me, look at all the fun things in here. So thank you for clicking on this video. Please hit the thumbs up and the subscribe. We do um, jewelry and craft law unveilings and I do an auction on Saturday nights. Here is a little wire memory wire bracelet. I see lots of bangles in here. This is just kind of a plain cream color bangle. We've got quite a worn blue bangle. So in my last um, videos, I did kind of an expensive lot. These are just like wood or plastic little bracelets. Um, there was lots of good stuff in there. I'm not expecting to find the same kind of caliber of stuff like that in here. Oh, I like this though. These are just kind of plastic. Um, silver and black. Just put all these bangles over to the side. So far nothing too exciting. Just straighten that out a little bit. I just want to get all these big chunky guys out of the way. This one's kind of cool. It's like zebra and material. But definitely needs a big clean. Yeah, so if you want to get in on the auction, um, hop over to my Facebook page, which is called Becca's Beadworks, and I do those on um, Saturday night, 6.45 West Coast time. It's just a little wood necklace. So those are live auctions, and that feels like it might be silver. It's kind of cute. Heart little charms. Another little memory wire bracelet here. Looks like something somebody made with some with some gemstone chips. That's really pretty. That's very well done actually. The spacers, little sparkly rondelles. Nice. We've got a little charm bracelet. That's a neat way to do it. Dragonfly. Ooh, look at all the little charms on here. Pendants. A little shamrock. Oh, is that a hummingbird? That's just a, yeah, I think it is. That's really pretty. Lots of bracelets so far. There's a dragon on there. All right, this is just a little beaded amber tone plastic bracelets. Here is a stretchy, it's actually quite pretty, kind of an antique bronze color, florally design with a bunch of sparkly stones and it looks like, it's looking like most of them are there. There, there. Give that one a bath, I might actually keep that's really nice. I like that. 
another wood bracelet, stretchy. Another little stretchy with some sparkly rondelles and spacers. That's actually quite cute. A little bit small, but cute. Another bracelet. Ooh, some repurposable beads on here. Yeah, these are acrylic, but they are pretty. There's another one, same. All right, this is the bracelet lot, I think. These are quite worn plastic. Oh, maybe they're glass because they're quite cold. I don't know how this stuff looks like junk, but I guess we'll see after I wash it. I got a big tangled mess over here. I love that. All right, so we've got some stretchy. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. Yeah, a little stretchy amber stone, amber colored rhinestones. This is pretty. This is kind of what caught my eye. Very cool looking. Hmm, there's a little heart inside. A couple little hearts inside. I don't know what that means. Looks like it's hand painted. wonder who the artist is on that. I don't see a signature. And then this is kind of a cool bangle as well. Hmm. No markings really. All right, big wood necklace. Another bangle. I wonder if this pink one can be freed. Yep, so I don't know what this is. Colored plastic beads maybe. Some bronze colored beads. Okay, we got several strands of different wood going on here. There's some seed beads, some wood, some colored wood. And we got another set of bracelets. So these are kind of pretty colored, antique gold. Bronzy colored faceted beads. They're all plastic, but they're. Well, maybe those are glass. But anyway, that's pretty. Alright, what's this? A big long chain. Big long chain with all kinds of different gold tones. Brass and bronze stones. And looks like a little seed bead necklace. Me to we. Okay, that just might be one of those wrap bracelets. pricey for what I'm getting in here, which is so far Le Creel. Oh, that's got some real hmm, chips anyway. Something that's been handmade decently. I wonder, it looks like such a similar color palette. I wonder if they just like purge one section of their shelf, put it all together. Well, I like this guy. Kind of a purpley gray sparkly twerks it twerks uh -huh. here's the matching is this a bracelet 
matching bracelet for a necklace I just sent my mom. It's practically the same with purple sparkly rondelles. Actually, I think the, the color tone of hers is a little more red than purple. But purple and gold, quite like that, that's pretty. And what have we got here? That's a, that is a quartz stone, rose quartz. And I'm not sure what these little chips are on a wire there. Okay, are you free yet? Not quite free. Oh. Wow, this is kind of an interesting piece. I'm not sure what these stones are hanging off the bottom. But that is some very pretty filigree pendant. Oh, that's short. Oh, look at the clasp. This feels really nasty, like I want to be wearing gloves. It feels kind of, you know, how it gets that dirty jewelry feeling, but it is quite unique and beautiful. go into a craft lot. This will probably just go into a craft lot. It's kind of a gold pendant on a, a leather cord. Here we've got the metal rings, a bronze tone, necklace and I finally got this guy out so this is all seed beads and this is either like a wrap bracelet or a long necklace I believe they're usually worn it's a wrap bracelet like that which actually is quite nice colors if it would focus on them there we go yeah it's pretty and you, oh, hooray, more wood. Okay. Some brown wood beads with some amber colored, sort of faceted cubes. Nothing too spectacular coming out of this bag so far. Is this one looks interesting? We've got some bronze colored, kind of hammered out um, dangly necklace there, another wood. This isn't too bad, it's got a screw clasp. Hmm. I wonder if my guy would like that. What is this? Is that glass? I'm assuming it's glass, yes. I don't recognize that stone. Or these chips. Not sure what these chips would be. And what do we have here? Silver tone chain. This is called Passion. Yes, the label is called Passion. All right. And another little pendant that looks like some kind of a sun on a leather cord. I think this is two pieces, but these are kind of neat looking. 
Um, I really like the colors here. I don't love this wire cord, but I really like these beads and these are interesting shape. They're kind of like cubed, but also rondelles. This is neat kind of zebra gold pattern. Uh, there's no markings or anything, but it's kind of neat beads on there. This one more just metal. Hmm, not sure what this one is. Shells, I guess. Ooh, that looks like it might be obsidian. I was going to say Dalmatian Jasper, but, huh. I wonder if that's obsidian. Okay. Ooh, look at this guy. <laughs> Hello. He's an interesting looking character. Like his green eyes kind of startled me. Those big teeth. No idea what that's made of and he's all tangled. Ooh, I see a bat. Well. Isn't. Okay, so we have yet. Yeah, this must be like they clear their shelf in the same area or something. So many of these same color tones. But anyway, looks like wood and I don't know, leather or piece of tree and some different chips. Sorry, my thing's getting a little crowded here. I'll try to show it in my hand so this is what these are the bats hello which are kind of cute actually i love bats so you probably keep those beads fun for crafting really doesn't want to focus there it goes okay all right now here's this pendant on a nice Shiny cord. I like that. Um, and then this guy is free. He's on a little cord. And it looks like we've got like a perfume bottle. On a cord. That's neat. I actually got a locket and another lot that would match that. Okay, some of these, these are just like material wrap beads. They do look to be in good shape, however. These aren't my favorite, but they're kind of shiny and pretty. Hmm. Focus. Or don't. Hmm. What's going on with you? There it goes. All right, and I'm just kind of powering through this, so I'm not gonna break and clear the table. I'm just gonna keep going because looks like we just have some repurposing stuff left. That's kind of a neat, neat pieces of chunky beads. Then we've got some, a strand of bicombs kind of a purpley gray tone. This is the perfume bottle. It's on it's on a cord that is wrapped around branded division. 
some faux tags. Take a look at, take all that in as I free the this last piece here. So yeah, Becca's Beadworks on Facebook. I'll try to remember to post the actual link, but um, I always put my email in the description. If you're interested in anything that you see in the video, you can always email me. There it is. Um, for pricing or inquiries there's the perfume bottle and here is several strands of awesome beads anyway sure what this is I guess those are like nuts and this is kind of a pretty bracelet probably the nicest thing in here so far hmm. kind of goes with a necklace I just got piece of glass art glass some funky 80s beads <laughs> what vision of repurposing do you have for these this is more of a craft lot than a jewelry lot and that is a little bit disappointing the price tag they had on this uh, these are amazing beautiful cherry red colored beads I mean the necklace itself well I mean it's wearable it's in fine shape but I guess you could wear it for Valentine's or Christmas but I could also see these these awesome colored beads being used on something else gorgeous I got a bit of a tangle here in the last couple there's three or four necklaces left here and then we're almost at the end just uh, sorting out kind of a, a messy tangle here we go this is nice and long interesting This is just plastic. Ooh. This is just a bead on a cord. Crapola. Uh, here we've got just a little silver tone chain with a couple chunky rondelles and some charm heart or some heart beads and then oh it 
is too. I was gonna say the last one, but. Okay, more of this ugly cord stuff. And I guess this is multiple chains in here. And this is it. Wow. Well, please hit the thumbs up button even if you did not feel, oh, this is one, it's just multiple strands. Even if you weren't feeling this crappy lot, it helps my channel. And please hit the subscribe button. Oh, and it's broken. Well, there might be some usable chain here at least. All right, that is the end of this one. Well, can't win them all, I guess. If that would even focus on this hunk of junk. Anyway, thank you so much for being here, Becca's Boutique and Beadworks BC. Please hit the subscribe and the thumbs up button. And I'll see you next time.